Our fourth step is to train the environment. The environment is the space that the robot operates in and can reach. Uh, the robot can be easily trained in place uh, in front of uh, machines. So we just simply have to take the robot, we can use collaborative free drive mode, and we touch objects in the environment to create clearance shapes. It's very important that everything in the environment that we don't want the robot to touch when it's operating autonomously, we train as a clearance shape. So let's go ahead and look at what a blank environment looks like. We'll touch environment, step four, go to our manage tab, and we'll click new environment. When we click a new environment, you see here we have basically just the robot in space along with a bin. So we want to touch and create these clearance shapes, everything that the robot can touch. Usually we start with the sensor. So let's start by creating a nice safe clearance shape around the sensor. You see that there's two methods for creating clearance shapes. We can specify or we can teach. Let's start with teach. First we'll start by creating a capsule around the sensor. And it asks us for two points and a diameter. So let's go ahead and teach by demonstration those two points to create a capsule around the uh, 3D sensor. So we'll click point one. So on the left side of the capsule. And we'll go ahead and train point two. on the right side. And again, we're referencing the TCP of the end effector. Now that we've trained these two points, we hit done, and we can see a capsule's been created in the environment. We then want to give it a diameter. Let's go with uh, about six inches, maybe 150 millimeter diameter. And you can see we've now created this clearance shape around the sensor. To check our work, we can move the end effector in the space, and we can look at the rendering on the teach pendant, and we can see just how close we're allowing the system to get. So right about there, the end effector and the robot will not get any closer to the sensor than this, based on the clearance shape that we've trained. But we really want to be a little more conservative in this case. We don't want to create any pinch zones, for example. So let's go ahead and make this uh, capsule a little bit larger. So we'll go for 225. And now we can check our work again. So during autonomous operation, the robot and the end effector that we've trained uh, clearance shapes around will not get any closer to that sensor than that distance right there. Now we're going to repeat that process to train everything in the environment, including the pedestal, the frame, the post, and the robot controller itself. Anything that the robot can reach, we should train as a clearance shape in the environment. We can also add virtual shapes. So if we don't want the robot to uh, come beyond this plane here, we could train a capsule uh, or a plane, a lozenge, uh, such that the robot wouldn't enter this space here. Let's look at what a fully completed environment looks like. Go back to the Manage tab, and we'll select this environment here. So you can see in this environment, we have uh, the back post trained. We have the 3D sensor trained. We have uh, the robot stand as well as the top shelf trained. And the bin is a special object in the environment. This uh, lozenge over here on the left side represents the robot controller, the top of the robot controller. So anything we don't want the robot to touch during autonomous operation we train as a clearance shape. Now the second method that we can use to uh, create clearance shapes in the environment is the specify method. And again, 
we're gonna create spheres, capsules, or lozenges. And where these objects are going to appear in the environment, in this case, is going to be the 000 of the robot flange. We can then uh, type in values to move those objects, X, Y, and Z, in space and rotate them to manually position them. So we have two methods for creating clearance shapes, the teach method or the specify method. But in all cases, in autonomous operation, the robot, the end effector, or while it has the part, will never touch any of the clearance shapes in the environment. The most important clearance shapes to train the most accurately is going to be the place target. So when you train your place target, make sure that those are very accurate and tight tolerances. But everything else in the space, we can approximate as long as the actual physical objects within the space are covered.